Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be configuring a WLAN on a Cisco Wireless LAN Controller 9800 series. Let's get into it. And for this topology, we'll have VLAN 10 as the management network, VLAN 10 for our wireless clients. We'll also take a look at the switch and configure uh, the interfaces, VLANs, and DHCP servers for our access points and wireless clients. Then we'll configure the wireless LAN controller. We'll start with the layer two configuration. We'll create our WLAN and we'll create our tags and profiles and attach it to the access point. Let's jump on the switch and verify our configuration. And here we can see that VLAN 10 and 20 have already been configured. VLAN 10 for management and VLAN 20 for our users. Next, the switch will need to be connected to the controller via a trunk interface. Let's confirm. And as you can see, port 1 is connected as a trunk to the controller. Next, we'll confirm our network addresses in DHCP servers. Using the command show IP int brief, we can see our two VLANs and their IP addresses. And now we'll take a look at our DHCP server configuration. And here you can see that we've excluded the first 99 IP addresses on both networks. And here we can see the VLAN 10 DHCP server configuration as well as VLAN 20. Now let's jump over to our wireless LAN controller and confirm that the access point is connected to the switch and associated to the wireless LAN controller. For this next step, we're going to configure VLAN 20 for our wireless clients on the wireless LAN controller and we'll also continue with our WLAN configuration and tags and profiles. Let's start by creating our VLAN 20. We'll click on configuration. We're going to go to layer 2 in VLAN. In here, we'll create our VLAN 20. We'll give it a name. And click apply. Next, we'll go to configuration, wireless setup, in advance to create our WLAN. And we'll go through that design phase by creating our tags and profiles and deploying to our access points. And here we'll work from the top down and start by creating our SSID. and we'll leave it disabled until we're ready to enable it. Next, we'll do our policy profile.
and this is where we decide what VLAN to use for this SSID. We'll use our user network for site 1, which is VLAN 20. Next, we'll configure our policy tag. And here, we select our WLAN uh, profile, which is our SSID, and attach it to the policy profile. Next, we'll do our AP joint profile. And for this demonstration, we won't be using the flex profile. We can cover that in another video. We'll skip to site tag. and select our AP joint profile. Next, we'll do the RF profile and RF tag. For the RF profile, we'll use the typical client density for both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Now we're ready to apply our profiles and tags to our access point. And we'll go back to our WLAN profile. And before we enable it, we'll enable a pre-share key so we can test our network. We're back on the dashboard and we can see we have one wireless LAN, one access point and zero clients. Let's test our network. As you can see, we now have one client active. And that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.